In this video, we're going to discuss comments and recognize the proper use of comments to make code basically more readable and maintainable in the context of the Java programming language for Android. Now, adding comments to your code is a good way to understand what the code is doing and sometimes why it is doing it and why it's doing it in a certain way. So code comments not only assist other programmers when they are modifying your code, they will also help you basically re-familiarize yourself with the code after you've been away from it for quite some time. So in Java, the most uh, most programming languages as well, I should say, it's not just Java, comments are indicated by two forward slashes. So what you see here, pop over here, and I'm going to do an example of a comment. So this is a comment. Okay. Notice how I started by slash slash, and I said this is a comment. Now, you can place a comment on a line by itself or in line with the code. So in line with the code means basically this. I have a code line, and I'm going to also say this is also a comment. Okay. Doesn't matter. So another style of comment is block comments. So these comments usually take up multiple lines instead of starting with, say, two forward slashes. And block comments have a starting and an end symbol. So back here in my class here, this is what such one looks like. Okay, so it starts with a forward slash star and ends with a star forward slash. Now, you can even use this style of commenting in line with your code as well. So this also will apply. So if I come back here, I have an example set up right here for you to see. So what it's going to do now, it's going to say if, and then it's going to say per item discount equals equals 0.5. And it's not going to execute what you actually see right here. This has ha effectively been commented out. So this is very handy if you're debugging or you're trying to test certain conditions. As developers, this lets us basically not remove this line or not remove the original line, but not duplicate it either. But if we want to just test this. We can just quickly comment it out. And then to put it back in play, we could easily uncomment it. Okay, so I could just go backslash, backslash, and then backslash, backslash, and now it's right back in play. So in general, you should be liberal with your comments. If there is a section of code that is lengthy or doesn't appear to make sense just by looking at it, document that section of code with comments. Now, comments should also be added to the header or the top of each file. The comment should at least include what the particular file or Java class does. So programmers will often add their name and the date with the file was created. So as an example here, I just put other useful information. This is a class that shows, you know, comments located, but it could be some, just some kind of descriptor and then basically date information, that kind of stuff. And again, the header is a good place to note modifications as well and date those. So remember to always uh, update your comments as code changes, and doing so will ensure that the code makes sense to someone reading those comments in the future. So this has been a discussion on use of comments for Java in Android.